welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're playing uh, infirmary time at the infection house with Dr. <laughs> Decker's daddy. D Dr. Decker's daddy in damn inflamed, right. inflamed infantry house? Yeah, you dang right. All so right. we last episode, we talked to Lacey. We got to, yes, they found Agnes, or no, they didn't find Agnes. I'm going to hold off on it for now. See if we get anything else about Agnes from somebody else. Uh, let's talk to Jasmine. We you may have just broke the code of this game. Because, like, what? that might be the whole point. It's like someone else might know Agnes. Yeah, now, now, I kind of figured that on the first night, but there wasn't really a lot of divergence on the first yeah, night. Yeah, that first, that first day was just, like, asking people questions about themselves. Yeah. All right, so who are you? What's your problem? Or where were you? All right, let's just find out who she is first. Yeah, nice I'm little shirt Jasmine. on. I don't come in that often. What happened to Dr. Decker? Oh, she doesn't even know he's dead yet. Oh, I'm sorry. We should just ignore her and ask her what she was doing on Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we might as well tell her. Yeah, yeah. But wait, hold on a second. What? Oh, oh. A I, got, I, got, I got a comment. When? How? Sorry. You probably don't know, do you? Okay. So if this girl is a patient of Dr. Decker, mm -hmm. and she calls up and goes, hey, I'd like an appointment with Dr. Decker, they're not going to tell her hey, we're going to give you a different doctor today. They're just going to say, come on in, girl, and then go, hey, what happened to the doctor? Why am I seeing you? Yep. Okay, anyway, sorry. Nope, just she, had to point that hole out. Nope, she stuck with me. He was stabbed, bro. I'm not telling her all of this, dude. I'm going to ask her where she was. We had a display in the gallery based on Love Conquers All. So I had to work. Mainly it was a collection of giant hearts sat on things, but I ran into another patient, Bryce. Oh. I'd never really spoken with him before. Alibi. He's right. quite an art critic. I couldn't get rid of him until I finished work at but 11. 10, 20. 11, okay. Takes over on the night shift. Okay. I'm not oh. sure if he kept talking to Bryce, though. Providence is open 24 hours. Question. How yep. does she know that he's a freaking patient? Like, how would he meet her at the maybe, thing and be like, maybe, oh. Maybe she's seen him in the lobby. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we know Bryce had a... Uh, and plus, I get to ask her more questions about him right here. So, actually, let's find out what she knows about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, there's not much to tell. I knew he was a patient here. I'd seen him in the waiting you room. You were right. Times. Yeah, common sense. He likes art and talking. <laughs> and talking. And looking down here instead of up here. Oh, oh he's a boob guy. I mean, who most guys are. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, so now I have no problem because I feel like she has an alibi, and then I can also go and cross-examine Bryce. Yeah, right, right. All right. Yeah. Decker was stabbed. Ouch. Yes. I'm sure he felt the same didn't way. didn't really know him that well. I'm trying to remember what I was doing on Valentine's Day now. You, Wait a second. You already told me, lady. You already told oh, me. so we are supposed to kind of follow the, the yeah. meta, I guess. Anyway, what's your problem? When you see a painting, it, it stands still. When I see one, it's moving. Like a mini film. Like little vines. But when there's a person in the painting... Do oh. people have, like... Like, mm -hmm. that's something, like, issues people have. Like, they're like, when I look at paintings and there's a person in it, it talks to me or whatever. I, I Whenever I see art, it moves. I mean, maybe if they're taking peyote. <laughs> or on, like, a salvia divinarum trip or something. <laughs> right. They're like, oh, I ate a bunch of mushrooms once at the art exhibit. Yeah. Talk Other than that, bro. I would assume that you probably got an issue going on with your brain piece. Uh, what happens when there's a person in the painting, yeah, that's or what how do the know. paintings move? Yeah, let's go ahead. They, they watch, watch me. me. Normally disapprovingly. No, God, daddy issues. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very diagnosis. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Classic case of daddy issues. Uh, why do they watch you disapproving? Let's find out how they move. When I want them to, normally. When I want to really get inside what's going on. What? Some paintings, I can't stop. Okay. And you know, like, mm -hmm. I guess if you were a therapist, dude, like, you would, in, in like, interact with people who have, like, severe delusions of, like, reality is not real and, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've definitely run into people who've heard voices before and, like, uh... 
And like uh, the medical industry, I've definitely seen that type of stuff happen. Well, and I'm, and I'm sure you've probably heard people just talking crazy. You're just like, yeah, like what the yeah, hell yeah, are you yeah, talking yeah, about, dude? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, uh, which paintings can't you stop, though? I've been working on portraits at home, outside work. But my paintings aren't so good. Nowhere near Providence standard. Well, I mean, you're, no, you're a novice artist. I painted a man, Dorian. You know. Dorian, Dorian Gray. Gray. Aw. What did he do? Dorian Gray was, uh, he was the man who was immortal, but instead of him growing old, the painting would grow old. And he had a painting that he kept in his attic hidden from the world because the painting was uh, ever damaged and he would die. And the painting showed like all the aging and all of the evil that he had done in his life. Oh, okay. But he remained like a 22-year-old, just millionaire, beauty, beautiful looking person. I know about that. Oh, that's actually, I've never heard of that story before. Yeah, Dorian Gray. Uh, wh why do they watch you disapproving? Because they don't think I know how to appreciate art because I'm too young. That sounds like an insecurity of your own, girl. I know, right? I'm telling you, it's daddy, it's daddy issues. Uh, do you appreciate art, though? Yes, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't be working in an art gallery. I love art. I love paintings. Like I said, they move for me. <laughs> nice close-up. Right, nice, like, dead-eye stare. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and find out about Dorian, see if I got anything I wrong. I to try and capture someone aging, so I divided the face into thirds and painted a boy... His father and his grandfather in each third. It was hideous. And it started talking to me. I mean, painting faces is hard. It started talking to you. What did it say? <laughs> that I'm ugly. I don't know. I have no talent. You're Nothing above a seven. Of me. <laughs> Jesus. Is that true, Doctor? No, not, I would tell her she definitely ain't ugly. Yeah, not by much, but she's above a seven. Uh, yes, it's true. Jesus. Jeez. No, it's not true. I hear it so many times with that wretched painting. It's in my head. But thank you. No problem. So it's almost like the, vo the, the narrative voice in her head, mm -hmm. she, she, she projects onto inanimate objects to then talk to her. Yes. Because she feels ugly. She feels like she doesn't appreciate art and, like, all this other stuff. Yeah, she definitely she definitely needs some medication. Yeah. Uh, something strong. Uh, tell me about <laughs> something that. Something strong. I'm shy. And then less so. When I told him about my problem, he told me to set fire to it. That's actually a good idea. All right. I don't, I'm don't. i not against that. A set, painting. Yeah, set fire okay. to what? Could have been more specific. I tried to set fire to... Providence. Oh my god. At that time, I thought the only way to fix my problem was to set fire to the entire art. What? Guy. How are you not in so jail? Paintings didn't make it. Luckily, my boss didn't press charges. Why? And you it still have a job? Me, though. Wait a second. <laughs> You're trying to find a reason but for I it. But I feel like uh -huh. it, there's sometimes yeah. when somebody does something... The police, the prosecutor will press charges regardless if the yeah, art gal Like, yeah. yo, lady, you committed arson. Well, it's Britain. Maybe they handle things different down there. <laughs> They're like, excuse me, man, would you like to press charges? He uh, he killed your wife. No, I'm good. Oh, it's just a bit of arson. This, <laughs> I, I don't know. That was They're only million-dollar paintings at the Providence. That was my English accent. Uh, why didn't he press charges? Because I'm his lover. My boss, Petra. She's just lovely like that. Providence has gone through some tough times, and I've only been there a year. Sounds like her boss a people she pleaser. She invested life savings, and it's still not making any money. And you set it on fire? Such a sweet lady. You'd do anything for her. Like set her business on fire. All right, Petra. There's some holes in this, but anyways. Uh, did Petra ask you to set the Providence fire? That's kind of what I was thinking. Because here's the other part to this. I don't know if you know much about insurance. Mm-hmm. If if there was for insurance money, yeah, she still did it. She would be responsible legally yeah. for the money that was yeah. caused. The the insurance company would come after her for the money because she was the person who set the effing fire. That's very true. Anyways, I wonder if I should ask her because like both they're these, both the same. Yeah, but you know a little bit different. I would say that the bottom one is probably better because the first one. How would she know? She doesn't own it. 
Petra does. Well, right, but she started so the fire. So this, this one answers both of the questions. I mean, she started the fire, but she didn't do it because of the insurance money. She did it because she has psychosis. If Petra <laughs> asked her to do it, then it kind of answers this one. That's we, true. All right, you're killing two birds with one stone. I got gotcha. you. Dr. Decker told me to burn it. There's nothing to do with Petra. Dr. Decker told me to burn it. Okay. Oh. So oh, it's Dr. Think, Decker's fault. I don't think I should ask that question. Uh, I'm going to ask it, though. Yeah, Fine. I mean, it's kind of... No. Okay. Why are you saying that? See? I don't even know if Petra has insurance. I knew. I didn't feel like that question was going to be helpful. Was Dorian destroyed in the fire? This is important. I already ripped up the painting. It screamed as I cut it. And now whenever I close my eyes... I can see it, hear it. I need the tablets, Doctor. I need them. Tablets? Oh, the skull and crossbone tablet that Nathan had. The Timazepam? The oh, sleeping tablets. The sleeping tablets. The ones you gave me last time. I didn't give you anything. I don't understand how sleeping's going to help you not freaking see paintings. I, wait, that doesn't even make sense. We didn't see her. Dr. Decker gave them to me. No, okay. They helped. I know it's in my head. I know paintings can't talk. What's wrong with me, Doctor? Why do I do this? Knee shot. Classic knee shot. I think you lack a little bit That's of self-confidence. That's a thousand percent true. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. I'll think about that. <laughs> the prescription, please? Oh, she wants these sleeping pills. Well, so baby. I feel like we have to go through. Oh, she's green now, though. By the way, That's good. like so, even though we didn't want to ask that question, I feel like we have to. Yeah. Because seems... if not, we can't continue with their line of question. It seems like it. Um. But you know, we'll I'm gonna get... come back to her. I'm gonna go cross-examine Bryce just to solidify his. Well, uh, yeah, his and we need to story. ask the others before we finish up the last girl because then we might find out about Agnes. Yeah, but yeah. anyways. That's it, man. That's all the time we got for today's episode. All right. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, you know, there's a notification bell. It'll tell you when we uh, ring a ding it for you. For Jonas. TNT. Oh, we out.